There it goes. Oh, is it stuck? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen and fellow alcoholics, welcome to my entertainment tonight. Come on, turn, turn. Anyways, for those who don't remember, that's the little thing. Again, my um, ionizer or whatever it's called. Anyways, it's, again, better than doing nothing. Maybe, possibly, who knows. It could just sit there all day and make noise. Can you, like, are you actually done or stuck? Oh, well, it's, again, zigzags. It's been all the place. It's been going for a while. Anyways, I'm here. You can kind of see me there in the reflection. Uh, yep, it actually stopped. Anyways, here in Indiana, the edge of Indiana, anyways. Uh, it's a cold, cold night. It's 42 degrees. Is that right? Yeah, that might not be right because that's also not the right. No, it is the right time. Let's see. It is 59 in Dayton, which I'm no longer in. So today... To kind of go over what happened, uh, today was a day of long traveling. So it started in Indiana and ended up in Indiana five, six, seven hours later, which Indiana isn't that big of a state. You literally can get through it in two hours if you're heading the right direction. Anyways, but no. So I started in Indiana. It was actually nice. It's a nice cloudy day where it's that nice mixture of big puffy clouds and blue sky, you know. Anyways, it was nice up until Cincinnati, or just the Kentucky side of Cincinnati. And it actually started to rain, but it was, again, weird strips of pouring, a downpour, then blue skies, then rain again, then blue skies. Like I said, by the time I got uh, away from Cincinnati, uh, it was um, uh, clear again. And was pretty much clear all the way through here to here from Dayton to here rather so yeah so it started in where I was Endsville uh Indiana literally it was called something like that uh crossed the border into Kentucky then uh went through there then uh into Ohio through Cincinnati which I don't think I've ever I can't remember ever driving through Cincinnati and the bridge in question not working you always have to go around so to Dayton, picking up the gear, then back out of Ohio into Indiana again, and here into Indianapolis. So, right now, I just ordered some food. It's behind me. Uh, yeah, it's right here. My cup, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I uh, got that from... Um, all right, anyways, I checked on something real quick. Oh. Anyways, I got that from uh, Noodles and Company. So, there literally is, again, a start... Uh, subway next to me but i had subway yesterday not really feeling it and then another drive through arby's which as i covered yesterday drive throughs are not my best option but oh well. yeah hopefully actually i might just cover up this whole thing because i have a good 10 hours 10 hours no 10 uh, minutes or so worth of uh traveling footage again just for those who haven't been driving may be enjoying seeing the blue skies or the lovely luscious forest quote-unquote passing by so anyways but yeah so that's all i did today again it's hard to talk about what i did or exciting things i did today when all i did was travel like really one of the things i did was work on movies we're not really just i was trying to work on me uh gold miner them gold in those heels that kind of thing and again actually one of the reasons why i usually have a rough voice at the end of the driving is i usually just doing nonsense like that like crying or seeing a voice in this near fur wherever you are know that my heart will go anyways or just singing along with songs in general so oh well again just nonsense basically so, but, uh, anyways, let's get on to today's advent. Oh, a uh, quick break here because I need to actually get stuff. Man, this is cold. Whew, freezing. So, this was in the freezer. Again, this is, if I haven't shown the room properly, is a nice little extended stay place. The thing is, I, do, I can do laundry downstairs, but someone's already down there, and tomorrow I'll be staying at a nicer extended stay place. Uh... It probably have the same thing in way of kitchenettes and dishwasher, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I won't have what I had today where I was driving 
so long that I got here at like six or seven. I might actually get there earlier, I think. I, I, I have to look at the time, uh, based on the weather also, by the way. <laughs> I need to look at the time and the weather uh, on the top of the hour. Anyways, no, uh, to see what it's gonna be like. If there's gonna be weather in the afternoon, I should leave early so I can get there before. If there's gonna be weather in the morning, I should maybe sleep in to avoid it, you know, that kind of thing. Since again, I think it's only five hours tomorrow. So basically my drive from Ennsville to Ohio to Dayton is just by itself, so. But what I was getting to in that long rant is if I actually have time, I might get some groceries and actually cook myself a proper meal, so. Because again, it, at the bare minimum, it should have a kitchen, a, uh, this is just, a, again, hot plate because dish right here. So yeah, that is just purely just a hot plate, very thin. So anyways, how much do I, oh, what I was saying also is, yeah, in the freezer. So this is freaking cold. Hope I didn't freeze because some of this is light enough that it probably would freeze. I mean, like that's mostly water and sugar, so. Anyway, so there we go. There's the lineup. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're still using the eight. We have a one in eight chance of failure. And we didn't get it. It's a, I don't know what number that is. Uh, no, just kidding. So upside down five. So one, two, three, four. Was I talking about odds yesterday and about the, how the odds that this might last? Guess not. So that means it's pure whiskey from here on out. The last remaining non-whiskey, because yeah, whiskey, 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 and technically, are you whiskey? You are whiskey. Yeah, so they're all whiskey. It's whiskey for the rest of the trip. There went my last uh, bit of reprieve. I mean, the lowest quality after this, 70 proof, 40, uh, yep, so that's gonna be the lowest quantity because everything else is a hundred proof or more. Oh no, 35. Okay, so there's a 35 left in here, but I have 99 proof, 100 proof, 80 proof, 85 proof. So yeah, it might be rough from here on out. But since it's been a long day and there's gonna be some e hard days on the long way, but this is one of the harder ones in the next couple days. Tomorrow, I drive a couple hours, that's it. So maybe that's appropriate that on such a long day i have this guy which is blue chair yellow though anyways blue chair bay uh premium blend banana rum Ugh. hard to read this hold on uh caribbean rum with caramelized banana flavor okay that sounds amazing actually uh 26 percent alcohol by volume which is a oh, 26.5 alcohol percent by volume. So what's that in proof? It doesn't actually say what the proof is. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, this one has no cream in it, so that means I don't have to worry about it being out as much. But yeah, so interesting. Again, so this is blah, 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 like say two notches or so, 10% uh, before what your average liqueur might be. But the fact that it's caramelized bananas that sounds delicious. Ever had that? Just again, I had caramelized plantains, which were amazing, especially since they were mixed in with enchilada sauce. It was a nice contrast of sweet and spicy. Anyways, it's completely clear. So you see that it's complete. So again, kind of like Mountain Dew, where if you actually look at the color Mountain Dew, it's kind of piss yellow, if not clear ish. And the only reason it's green is, or we think it is, because of the bottling. That's advertising for you. So, anyways, here's the uh, smell. Oh, that is heavenly. That is amazing. I don't smell the caramelized part, but I do smell the banana. Oh, what it? No, no, no. It's it's um um um, um. like that. No, it's the uh, pie. Like the banana cream pie is what it really smells like. So kind of that banana pudding or banana cream pie, just that sugar banana is what you smell. Mmm, amazing. But anyways, here's to um, nice, relaxing, long drives with lovely singing sessions in between. So here's the driving and singing to keep sane. <laughs>
Interesting. Good, by the way, delicious. But, so here we go. It comes in and it's just immediately banana cream taste. Mmm. Then on top, like a little hint floating back and forth is that cream or that cream cream, um, caramelization, quote unquote. Anyways, just this nice little caramel sweet taste on top. But again, kind of like, oh, I don't want to steal a line from Family Guy, but I'm going to. Dating a hot girl with a bad laugh. It's nice, but as it slowly wears, there's this alcohol warmth. Now, it's still 21%. It's not bad. But what is this amazing, awesome thing it has a little bit of something you don't like in it. And again, it's a bit warmth. <clears throat> but as it goes down, again, that alcohol, I mean, the banana sugar taste is almost gone at that point it's warm down but it still goes down smooth enough again 21 percent i'm i gotta state that enough it's a slight alcohol warmth but it kind of ruins what is an amazing other so again it's not bad it's amazing it tastes great but it could be perfect if it wasn't for that little bit of alcohol warm and again as it goes down though there's a bit of a warm flush like you, the bills do on a very expensive, delicious uh, dinner, a uh, dessert rather. Like, oh, that was amazing. What the hell you mean that was 50 bucks? So yeah, afterwards there's a whoosh, little flush of warmth, a little bit of warmth in your lungs. But again, 26% alcohol by volume. So it's warm for what it is. It could have been perfect, but it's still fucking amazing. So I would definitely drink that again. Um, Unlike that pineapple cream one I had there, I would mix this with, um, actually that'd be interesting. Since it's not technically a cream, how would it mix with cocoa? I don't know how rum mixes with chocolate or cocoa in this sense, because that would be amazing with hot cocoa. I'm gonna have to try that. I am literally going to buy another one of these. Hopefully I bought it somewhere in Arizona and mix, try this with hot cocoa. Cause that'd be a freaking amazing. Cause again, I can't state it's delicious. If not for that little bit of alcohol taste at the end, that kind of, it's again, it's a delicious fruit parfait but one the fruit has a bug in it Eh, still not a good analogy yeah I, I hate to say it but yeah the family guy analogy of a beautiful woman with a horrible laugh is appropriate to this but yeah i mean i get again i gotta try that with hot cocoa anyways otherwise um i don't know if it mixed well with any other sodas I mean, you could, but again, you'd have that banana taste with soda and that's not a good thing, but uh, any tropical drinks. This will work beautifully as a sugary alcoholic substitute for blank, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, talking too much, my voice gets dry. Anyways, I've been, is it, has it actually been 14 minutes? I doubt it, but we'll see. Anyway, so I need to stop the video here. I'll edit together. Hopefully, again, you saw some footage of the traveling, some beautiful clouds rolling by i can actually do dishes for once otherwise <sighs> okay i'm back i'm alive sorry again little uh burping there i think some doctors say i might have a small esophagus again never been actually tested for that so who knows if that's a thing anyways but tomorrow i'll be in madison wisconsin where it's far colder but I'll be able to do laundry, maybe. We'll see. Until then, have a nice day, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.